Yo guys, this is Dragon Invasion, aka Wookie. Join the Dragon Invasion Guild and the Discord. The link's down in the description down below. Right there, right there. You see that? See that button right there? Click it. Join the and click the link. And also, if you want to watch more of me, the amazing Dragon Dragon Invasion, my Twitch channel is also down below. And that's also in the description down below. Right there. I told you. Right there. Down there. The legend of drunken dragon centuries ago lived a city of dragons, in this city of simplistic beauty with clouds and many mountains. In an open space you can hear the shouting of an old dragon which was dark green with a long white mustache and it was 300 meters high. Where is that fool? As the master was shouting. It startled the dragon children they varied colors each the size of a full-grown Great Dane. The master noticed that it startled the children then said, Sorry children. My anger is directed at that fool. As it shrunk in size to two meters with a sympathetic look. Tilt its head looked down and said, Sometimes anger can overcome you. But never let it rule over your other emotions. Remember to keep it under control. Master. Look up. Said one of the children it was light green. Another child this one was purple said. I think that's teacher. The master looks at the direction the child is looking and sees a swerving cloud with a green dragon with blue and black hair holding a barrel. As the master sighs with a look of disappointment, indeed it is, the dragon gets off the cloud wobbly and quickly finds its footing. Yo, said the wobbly dragon to everyone and with a confused look, saw the master and says, hey, master what are you doing here? A loud hiccup coming out of the wobbly dragon. The master then says, this is why everyone calls you the drunken dragon. As the master looks at the barrel with disappointment. Are you using magic on this barrel that the humans made? How many times have I told you that we dragons are not supposed to enter the human realm? As the drunken dragon very cheerfully tells his master, well master I enjoy being called the drunken dragon, as the drunken dragon takes a big sip of the barrel. These humans make very interesting inventions, however without using magic. I can't enjoy it, as it doesn't affect us. The master now mad in a loud voice says, if the humans find out about this dragon paradise, they might hunt us down to only a handful or left. Sadly, looking down at the dragon children whom looked confused, the drunken dragon with a cheerful voice, I am not an idiot master I transformed myself. But now they have these pointy mountains they were heavy for the humans. The drunken dragon took another sip of the barrel. So I helped them out and was given YRP and then these other group of humans wearing nothing but white cloth gave me some clothes that matched their own. As the master looked at the gifts then said, Hum it seems the humans have evolved. The drunken dragon gave a look of satisfaction. Unlike drunken dragon the master it was not fond of humans. They seem to think I am some sort of a god, drunken dragon said. The master now furious yelled, what? The master dismissed the children. Meanwhile, at exact moment that was happening many of THGE mountains that connects to the dragon realm. One of the mountains had a shadow like figure climbing up, which looked like any other mountain. The shadow figure was a human it seemed to have rags as clothes or perhaps its clothes turned to rags in a very exhausted voice, almost there, heavy breathing. It clearly was climbing mountain for a long time as it continues to say, I saw God went this way, 
surely it will grant my prayer. As the human climbs up the cliff of the mountain and sees the cave, I should rest here for now and continue tomorrow in an exhausted voice. The human slowly walked toward the cave it seems to be glowing purple light. The human with its face covered in mud in a hypnotized state staring at the light as if telling the human to enter the cave. The human now in front of a glowing dark purple gem. The gem had an ominous aura to it. Drawn into its aura the human slowly touches the gem in the exact moment a loud thunder shook the whole mountain. The gem began to crack as the human backs off from the gem and trips, landing on its back the gem started to break into pieces. With each piece breaking off purple gas was escaping the gem the thunder got louder, until the purple gas formed a dragon. It appeared in front of the human. The human slowly crawls up and bows its head in an incredible speed. Oh God, I have found you. Will you hear this mortal that is far beneath your gaze? In an ominous voice the dark purple dragon says, Ah, you are the one who freed me, the human in quick response, yes. The human pleaded, I came so that you can grant me with riches and power, in a voice as loud as thunder and a menacing stare said, Silence. You may have freed me from my seal, but I see no harm in rewarding you. The dragon eyes glowed in bright red before the human could say a word the shadow started to move and warp the human. As it slowly turned into a ball until it vanished and the dragon flew out of the cave touching the white clouds turning it darker with each cloud it touched. Seconds after that happened we see the master still arguing with drunken dragon then the sky turned dark, the master now terrified. Drunken dragon seeing the change of expression from its master. The drunken dragon now looking worried glancing at the master and says, what's going on master? The master says, a very powerful and evil dragon has now been freed. Who broke its seal? How come I never heard of this dragon? Said the drunken dragon with a worry voice. It's been many centuries all the elders made it taboo to ever speak of the incident. Quote dot. Before the master could finish what it was saying, a loud thunder scaring all the dragons. That dragon should have been sealed did something happen to unseal this dangerous dragon said a gray and oldest dragon. The darkness started to transform to a dragon with piercing eyes as the dragon raised its hand and lighting came out of it. Destroying and killing multiply dragons as then the purple dragon started pointing towards the gray old dragon and it was electrocuted. In an explosive anger the drunken dragon started to dominate the purple dragon in fighting. Moments later the purple dragon pointed its claw toward the the drunken dragon master. Drunken dragon noticing the target of the purple dragon and rushed making it in time while a barrier protected both the drunken dragon and his master with a confused look wondering where this barrier appeared. The master explains everything to the drunken dragon, as a huge wave of lighting surrounding the barrier and with that a huge explosion occurred in its place a small crater was left. The mist of the explosion lifted so did the barrier, wasting no time drunken dragon flies toward the purple dragon. However, the dragon disappeared from drunken dragon vision. The next thing that happened was a painful jolt in the back of Drunken Dragon Head and the world started getting darker. As Drunken Dragon is now falling down from the sky the evil purple dragon looks at Drunken put its claw down. 
The purple dragon red eyed start glowing a bright red says, All of you are going to be dying in mere moments. No one will be able to seal me, as the purple dragon opens its mouth a huge fire came out destroying everything it came in contact with. As drunken dragon is rapidly falling towards the ground. Something surrounded the drunken dragon it seems to be a barrier. The barrier was just big enough to protect drunken. As the barrier and drunken started to fall faster until finally hitting the ground. An explosion happened with only a crater and the drunken dragon unconscious in the ground. After some time drunken wakes up while standing up slowly Ruble falls to the ground. The drunken dragon looks around nothing but sand and the full moon all around. Drunken Dragon lifted its claw and created a portal. Drunken walks into it and buildings and flashing neon lights appeared. Hmm. Something seems off this doesn't look like any place I visited before, in. A twist of a fate would have it the Drunken Dragon walked into a bar, with music playing and out a strange box. A human female slowly turns before she did, drunken had transformed into a human. The female bartender says, hello, how can I help you? What drink would you like? Do you have Wangju, said the drunken dragon. The human bartender clearly confused the drunken dragon noticing this quickly snap its finger all the knowledge the human bartender contained now became the drunken dragon knowledge. The drunken dragon snap its finger once again and said, Ah, sorry do you have any wine from the bottom shelf should do it and any brand will do. The female bartender pours the drink. The drunken dragon took the sip it was amazing taste and fell in love with the drink. The drunken dragon went back to the dessert and with a snap fixed the crater and created a bar at same time the name of the bar. Inside. The bar was almost exactly like the human bar that drunken visited with a few changes as the drunken dragon closed the door in an instant the bar and the sign disappeared. End of part one. Remember to watch anime and read manga.